This is an example of something that uh, I discovered when I was embedding Kleenex into wax. And I found that if I didn't get all the wax into the Kleenex and I left a little tooth on the Kleenex left exposed, I could then put some paints into the Kleenex. And I began to use something called uh, a mica-based paint that was very shimmery looking. And so after I got the wax into the Kleenex, I then added different areas with this mica paint, creating, I think, just a really interesting effect. And it's something that I've just really been quite excited about. Working with tissue papers and doing collage with wax just really is a lot of fun. And what I've liked to work with is these papers that are called Josh papers. You would find these in an Asian market in the hardware section. They're just wonderful, colorful papers to work with and, and embed into the wax. You can use other tissue papers that you find at, at really specialty paper shops. They also work great. And even things like Angelina, uh, which is sort of like a fancy packing material that can be embedded into the wax, produces some interesting results. I've even used coffee filters. That's a coffee filter embedded in the wax with some metallic wax on top. Here's a couple Christmas ribbons in here. And then when we were talking about monoprinting before, I just cut long strips of paper, waxed them, then flipped them over, heated the backside to create these patterns. This is even a little piece of US Postal, oh, I shouldn't say it. Uh, Tyvek material, I think you call it. It's a plastic material, but when it's heated, it crinkles all up. And then you can wax on top of that. Here's just a can that I heated up and made some marks on paper and a couple of the stylus. But all together, you can create kind of an interesting composition with tissues and wax.